Today I'm going to set up and test the, uh, the Bulldog Smart Things Starter Kit. Hello, I'm Blake, a professional innovator and designer in pursuit of the invisible smart home. Water leak alert. <laughs> The starter kit includes three or more Zigbee leak sensors, the uh, Z-Wave control module for the Bulldog motor assembly, the Aotech hub itself, um, the Bulldog motor assembly which I've already uh, mounted on this uh, one inch valve, and the pin kit that comes with it that you put over the handle, and an AC adapter, and there's the two mounting brackets. This is the, uh, the large, and this is the extra large that I've already put on the valve. All right, now let's open the box and get some things plugged in here. All right, the box. Power adapter for the hub, and ethernet connection for the hub. And some instructions. All right, let's plug a few things in here. So this is plugged into the uh, AC adapter that comes with the Aotech hub, which is a five volt adapter. I'm gonna plug that in. I plug the other end of this into the ethernet connection on my router. So let's plug this in. And let's carefully plug in the uh, motor assembly PS2 connector. And we need to connect power to the wave control module. All right, just for the heck of it, let's see if this works. All right, so you need to put the Smart Things app on your phone. If you don't already have it. I already have it and I'm going to go ahead through the process of plus and how do we add a hub here let's take a look here so let's go to the hubs manage locations and we want to add a new hub let's go ahead and give it a name So it's searching for the device as long as it's on the same network, I believe it should find it. There it has, it's found it. So I'm going to click add. I'm going to connect it via Ethernet and not Wi Fi. So we've got, it's telling us to plug in the Ethernet and the power, which we've done. And it wants us to scan the QR code, so I'll do that on the back. So verifying code, your hub is connecting to internet. So this is going to take a few minutes, so I'm just going to stop the camera here and move on to the next step so you don't have to watch all this. All right, take, it took a few minutes for this to uh, update with the latest uh, firmware and whatever it did, it took about five or ten minutes, but it's installed now and working as a hub. Let me just show you on the app. All right, so there it is as the hub. And so now let's get started with pairing the, uh, the leak sensors and the Bulldog valve. And then I'll set automation to shut off the water uh, automatically. Um, so this is a Z-Wave device, the Bulldog control module, and these are Zigbee devices. So with Z-Wave devices, I like to first exclude. In this case, you won't have to. As I can tell by this is flashing green, you might not be able to see that, but the LED is flashing slowly, and that means it's not paired. But with other devices, and with this even, I like to first exclude because the process is faster, and it just confirms that it's excluded, because you can't pair a Z-Wave device that's already been paired to another system. But so let's just go through that process. So in Smart Things, you just go to the hub, and you select Settings, Z-Wave Utilities. That's going to take a second, I guess, to load here. 
and what we want to do is Z-Wave Exclusion. So now it's in Exclusion Mode, and when I click the button here on the uh, Bulldog Control Module quickly three times, it should happen pretty quick. It'll say one device deleted, and it's nice to see that, you know, this device is working, and you know that it'll pair properly. There, one device deleted, so that worked. All right, so let's get on with actually pairing it. That's very simple. And smart things, we want to add a new device. So you could do it by brand. And let me just show you that there. We're listed in their partner devices under Econets, a green circle. There we are. And we don't have a QR code for this version of the, uh, the Bulldog, but you can add without QR code. And now it's just looking for it. But I'm not going to do it this way. I'm going to go back and just do um, a scan for nearby devices. That's how I mostly do it for Z-Wave and Zigbee devices. Well, I'm going to push this button quickly three times. Actually, four times. It doesn't matter. Three or four. So it's going to take a little bit longer to pair. All right, so you can ignore the security rating. Bulldog is completely secure. And there it is. It found it. And we'll just leave it as that for now, the name. And let's just test that it works. All right. So that seems to be working fine. And I'll just let it finish its stroke and then I'll open it back up. All right, so it's, uh, it's paired fine and it's working fine. Now let's add the leak sensors. We don't have the same issue with Zigbee devices. These are Zigbee leak sensors, and they don't have the same uh, quirk as uh, the Z-Wave devices. They're easy to remove and add, and there's really no confusion there. And the way these work to put them in pairing mode is that the whole thing is really a button. You just squeeze it, and that puts it into pairing mode. And you won't be able, maybe you won't be able to see it, but there'll be a blue light there. All right, so you simply hold the button down until it starts blinking. And then you let go and then it'll pair and here it is. Leak sensor. Done. This is what it looks like. So let's just test it on a wet paper towel. Get an alert and it says wet. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pair the other two leak sensors, but I won't bore you with that. Done. Hold it down until it blinks and let go. You can't see it, but there's a tiny blue light there, very dim, but it's there. All right, so we paired the hub. Uh, we paired all three leak sensors. Let's just move them to the water room. So let's go to the uh, water room. All right, so we've got the uh, the bulldog and the three leak sensors in the same room called water. And let's just test the leak sensors. And now they should be dry again now in a second there. I get to the alerts here. All right, so let's set up automation so that when there's a leak, it shuts off the water. So we don't have to worry about the uh, notifications because you're already getting one automatically with smart things, but you could add a separate one if you wanted, um, but it automatically does it with the leak sensors. But let's just, maybe we'll add one so when the bulldog shuts off, you get an alert. So let's go ahead to add some automation here. Routines, add, routine, and I'm going to pick the leak sensors. So if device status, so water sensor wet, done. And let's add another condition. If the next water sensor is wet, wet, done. And we'll add the third one. If we should have probably probably named the water sensors, you know, bathroom, laundry room, etc. But just for the sake of this demonstration, that's okay the way we have it. So it says here 
if any of these water so when all conditions are met no we don't want it when all conditions are met we want it when any of those gets wet so let's switch it over to that on that side and then what we want to do is control the device the bulldog valve and what we want to do is turn the valve to closed done save and we can pick an icon for it. I'm not sure what would be appropriate, but there's lots of icons there for that routine. All right, so let's go look at the routine so that you can see it. But you see it has a little house shape with a check mark beside it. That means it runs locally. So if we unplug the internet, it's still gonna run. And maybe I'll test that in a minute. But let's just go ahead and get one of these sensors wet and see if it shuts off the valve okay so there's the valve there's the three cents the um, the water is moving and not the leak sensor but the leak sensor's there it turns off the water we get a notification and you can see here that it's in a alert mode and it'll do that with any of the uh, sensors let's turn the water back on this is dry now should show dry in a minute. Yep. Yeah. And let's just test it with one more sensor. Sensor's wet. Get a notification. Shuts off the water. And, uh, there's no plumbing required. I'm not going to show you how to install this. We've covered that in lots of videos. All right, just wanted to show you quickly it, it working without the internet. As I said, the, uh, the little box house with a check mark kind of shows that it's uh, connected locally, these leak sensors, to the Bulldog, and the automation runs local. So it works with the internet connected. So let's unplug the internet here. All right, so this still needs power. And of course this still needs power, the Bulldog and the hub, but it's easy to add a battery backup. And I'll show you something about that in a minute. All right, so imagine the um, leak sensor is moving and not the water. There it is, shutting off the water with no internet. And you can see it's showing the uh, Bulldog is offline now. And that's it. Now that you have your system up and running, um, you can add more leak sensors. It doesn't have to be the uh, ZB leak sensors, the T1s that we use, although these are great uh, sensors. I like them because of the size and the uh, mechanics. Um, but not just leak sensors, you can add dozens or maybe even hundreds of devices and the SmartThings hub can be the root of your, uh, your smart home. Anything from uh, automating lights to your security cameras to uh, your security system for your home, garage doors, locks. Give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and look for my next video. Cheers.